very slow start this morning for boring technical reasons. The sun is shining. I'm about to leave the Blackburn Bothy and finish the Corriaric Pass. Big old climb to start off day two of the Badger Divide. That way. Came back out onto the trail after the body and there's a fierce headwind blowing down out of the pass. It's all right when the sun's out, it's not cold, but it is, it's strong and it's consistent right in my face. I love a headwind, you know that. And now from this little valley here, it's a switch back in ascent right up to the pass. So I'm gonna get down to my shorts, get this show on the road upwards. a monster climb to start a day with but pleasantly all pedalable pretty much I pushed one or two of the looser steeper sections but on the whole it was just a grind stunning views across the valley blue sky scudding clouds little patches of snow on the faces of the hills little trickling streams absolutely beautiful but I'll admit, I didn't take in as much of that as I probably should have done. I treat this one like Ark of the Covenant. Don't look at it and it won't melt your face off. I got my head down and just, just pedaled it, especially into this headwind, you can hear it. I'm sheltering behind this weird haunted building, but it's roaring down right into my face. But I made it. This is the Corriaric Pass. 780 something meters I think and the highest point on this ride so it's not all downhill from here by any means but the general trend is downhill and the immediate trend is very much downhill as we drop pretty much everything we just made on that climb down towards Lagan I think should be a fun descent this one if a little sketchy that a man.
predicted, that was a lot of fun coming down there. I was thinking as I was coming down how a good descent is like a good dinner. You spend a long time prepping it, anticipating it, building up to it, and then it's all just gone like that. That got me thinking about food, and I remembered that there's a cafe at Lagan Wolf Tracks Trail Centre. So I did a little cheeky detour down there. I got a coffee, a really good flapjack, and a big bowl of bean chilli. It meant I had to do a little stretch of main road to get back on track, but as main roads go, it was fairly inoffensive. And now I'm back on the line, reinvigorated with cheese and sour cream and beans and caffeine and all that good stuff. And I'm pushing on. It's windy. There's a wind in my face. You all know, I don't like that. I didn't, I didn't order this, but it's all right. The trail is still fantastic. I've got plenty of time in the schedule, so I'm thinking today might be a fairly short one, I don't know. We shall see, we shall see. There's a long gravelly trail ahead of us that must be ridden. Let us depart. <laughs> Badger Divide, day two. Another stunner. Such a lovely trail, man. I mean, we've got, got it all. You've got locks, you've got mountains, snow-capped hills, rushing rivers, little waterfalls. Oh, it's, it's just beautiful. The landscape is amazing. It, it reminds me a lot of Norway, actually. It's not the same, but it's, it's got some of the similar vibe going on. Um, not so much forest today, much more kind of open, a bit more wild and rugged and uh, windy as well, headwind for most of the day. And I came into this sort of forested patch towards the end and I know I'm about to come out the other side of it. So I've picked this as the only sort of relatively flat sheltered spot that I've seen to, uh, to pitch up in. It's not the nicest spot I've ever camped in, but it will do, I think. Did about 60 kilometers today, which is not bad considering I got a very late start. Um, yeah, really, really lovely day. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm on a real Termat reindeer stew for dinner. So we'll see how that goes. And then, yeah, get my head down. Day three coming very soon. Um, hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. See you all soon, folks. Bye now.